Do not be a sat duck for the enemy. Do not sit in the same place every day. Do not wake and then whinge about the fact that you're waking up and seeing the same thing every day. That's a sitting duck. Are you a sitting duck? See, that's why God makes us suffer, bro. Because you're forced to not sit down. Stand up. Stand up. Exactly. Like, do you want to be forced to stand up? Or do you just want to stand up and take control? Because the Lord favors that. You get it? He favors that. <clears throat> we waste years praying and crying. Praying and crying. Exactly. It's not a waste. Don't take my words literal there. It's not a waste of time. I didn't say waste of time. It's a waste though. It's a waste of spirit. It is. But then it builds it back up. If you do the right thing after that pain, the spirit will be built back up and stronger. But if you do not do the right thing after that pain, you've lost. You've lost a lot of yourself for no reason. That's why I mean by it's a waste. Do not be a sat duck for the enemy and do not shrink before the Lord. Do not shrink before the Lord. I will explain this. The Lord comes to you. He saves you. I was saved. I was saved and I am saved and so are you if you believe in Jesus Christ. Do not shrink before the Lord. When he saves you, when he comes to you, when he gives you grace, when he gives you that strength, the joy of the Lord is our strength, the joy. When he gives you that joy, do not shrink. Even if you have old habits, even if you go and smoke, even if you do this or that, even if you masturbate, even if you have sex with your girlfriend, do not shrink. You, you can Sinning isn't shrinking. That's the point I'm making right now. Sinning is not shrinking. Shrinking is sinning and then feeling, letting Satan convince you that Satan has won. Over the cross, Satan, yeah, that's it. That's perfectly said. S shrinking before the Lord is letting Satan convince you that he has won over the cross which we all know is not true. It's not, but it feels true sometimes. And the thing is, this is over said. It's not over said, it's under said, but it's true. Satan does lie and pretend and make you feel, and I feel that he has won over the cross. He is the God of this world. Quote, uh, that's from the Bible. You get me? I'm not just saying that. He is the prince of the air, okay? I'm not glorifying Satan. But we need to understand how powerful he is so that he can't lie about how powerful he is. He is powerful, not as powerful as Jesus, nowhere near. Bro, we all know this. I don't need to say that. You get me? Do not let Satan make you shrink before the Lord. But most importantly, fuck Satan. We don't even need to say his name. The reason I brought it up there is because I need to explain this point. It goes from do not let Satan shrink, make you shrink before the Lord. Don't. Don't let him make you shrink. But ultimately do not shrink before the lord whether it's satan or yourself both you get me what 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 are you being convinced of in your head that's making you shrink see it's a perfect word shrink we're meant to grow before the lord so why are you shrinking before the lord getting smaller he leaves the lord leaves when we do that that's why i'm here making this point so hard-headed so repetitively because he will leave the Lord is always with us. I'm not going to say the Lord's left us. No. But the Lord will hide his face. We've read that many times in the Bible. He will hide his face from you if you are shrinking before him. If you can't handle chast chastisement, salvation, repentance, if you can't handle that, he will leave. Keep sinning. He will let you sin. He won't kill you straight away. He's, he's abundant love and mercy. He is a good God. He is a good God. He is a good father to us. He is. Ultimately, do not shrink before the Lord. I pray peace and blessings onto anyone watching this. It's been hard. I, I know I probably seem a bit crazy, you know. I ain't got no script. I'm just talking, bro. But do not be a sitting duck for the enemy. And do not shrink before the Lord. Simple as, you get me. As I was saying, back to the prayer... I pray peace and blessings over anyone watching this. I pray that the Lord returns to us the joy of his salvation. And I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray anyone watching this that I see your face in heaven. Because you will remember that you watch this if you make it to heaven. Exactly. Is that real? We forget. We forget. We forget that we are immortal. If we make it to heaven, we're immortal. Even if we go to hell, we're immortal. 
you are immortal you are immortal your soul your flesh is nothing stop thinking and doing for your flesh live for god you are immortal because of god it's more than just he gave us life he gave us immortality and do you know how much that is to give something that didn't exist for all time he did he existed all the way forever he has never started nor is going to end ever do you know what he has given us at one point we didn't exist and now we're immortal and this is not schizo talk bro this is biblical and this is the truth the afterlife scientifically makes sense if you want to get down to science bro nothing something cannot come out of nothing all us christians know this bro the afterlife is real so let's i want you uh, the reason i'm switching is because i want you to be on faith i want you to be on this this platform with me bro i want you to be here with me bro immortality exists understand that and stop living for the flesh as i said i pray i see you in heaven bro god bless you all listen I'm not doing well. I have no one. I've been hungry. I have no money. No one cares about me. But it's okay. It's okay. God is with me. If you if if God is all you have, you have all you need. I forgot the verse, but that is a Bible verse, so if you like it, then search up that and then look for that Bible verse. But it's true. If God is all you have, you have all you need. And I thank him for chastising me, bro. And putting me in this position that I may be forced to stand up, just like I said. Amen.